Struggle between Bella Swan, a wild teenager, Edward Cullen, a hunky 109-year-old vampire, and Jacob, a young Native American who turns out to be a werewolf. It was a successful trial run for Mormon author Stephanie Meyer, who saw huge success with this mixture of fantasy and romance. Originally, the saga contained four novels that came out between 2005 and 2008. More than 120 million copies were sold worldwide, and they were translated into over 40 languages. Stephanie Meyer took inspiration from a dream, and it only took three months to write the first part. The first images of the cinema adaptation literally crashed the MTV server. In Twilight, the heroes circle around each other but rarely settle, at least not before marriage. The author uses vampires as a metaphor for adolescent desire that is impossible to satisfy. Some people, however, find her saga to be too Puritan, bordering on pro-abstinence messaging. But who cares? The charm works between Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, even if Stephanie Meyer imagined Henry Cavill for the role instead. Edward and his family aren't like other vampires. They don't sleep in coffins, they can go outside during the day, and above all, they feed on the blood of wild animals. It was Carlisle, as the good father of the family, who transformed everyone into nice pacifist vampires. Another interesting thing is that some have developed powers. Take Edward, the romantic yet tortured hero who can read minds. Or what about his sister Alice, who can see the future? But the danger comes in the form of other, more traditional vampires, the Volturi. They are gothic-style Italians who love wearing large black capes. It's them who dictate the rules of the vampire world to keep the secret of their existence and punish those who break them. Edward and his family aren't on great terms with Aro, the leader, played by Michael Sheen, and Jane, his unforgiving right-hand woman, played by Dakota Fanning, who is capable of inflicting pain with just one look. But Edward is ready to do anything for love and declares to Bella, I don't have the strength to stay away from you anymore.